Hey everybody, my name is Josh and I'm going to show you how to hook up your GTAR with Ableton Live. So to start, you're going to want to make sure you have all the scripts downloaded from our website and they can be installed here. You can look up the uh, file path online and once you have that set up you're going to want to open Ableton Live and you're going to want to plug in the GTAR. If all you do is plug the GTAR in, it recognizes it as a MIDI instrument and so all you have to do is add an instrument to a MIDI track. Uh, we'll go ahead here and grab a piano. Uh, and drag that there. And then that works as an instrument. You can basically play anything that you would play on a guitar. Now, once you have the guitar plugged in, you need to go into your Ableton system preferences and select MIDI and add GTAR as a control surface. So up here on the drop down menu, GTAR should show up amongst your other controllers. And you select it, and you'll see that uh, any of the clips that you have in your Ableton set right now will light up, and you'll see the control panel on the GTAR script also light up here. If you don't see this, you can deselect um, a controller and then reselect the GTAR, and that should show up. So now that we have it here, I'll give you a quick tour of how this is set up. Uh, basically anything up here in the upper frets is going to match up with any clips that you have in Ableton. So if the clips are colored pink here uh, or whatever they're colored, I've kind of randomized these, uh, that's how they'll show up and it'll look a lot like you might see in a controller like an ABC. Uh, over here is our control panel. So this is our D-pad. If you want to control where you are in Ableton, that's what that does. Uh, up, down, side to side. Uh, green button here is our start and stop. Um, and stop again and then this blue button is our toggle switch so what that does is it gets rid of your live view and it switches you over to uh, controller view or uh, sorry uh, instrument view uh, where you can actually play instruments so we'll show you how that works in a little bit in order to trigger a loop all you have to do is put your finger down and fret and play it the way you might normally and that'll turn it on and to kill it you just go ahead and trigger a note that's not active there or you can use uh, the global kill switch to turn everything off. Uh, so if you wanted to turn a bunch of clips on at once, that would work. You can turn them off one by one. You can turn them off all together. Uh, it's basically the same functionality you would see in a you know, pad controller. Uh, if you want to toggle here to live view, we've got a Wurlitzer hooked up here just to a random MIDI channel. It's pretty straightforward. But that's how you use the GTAR to control Ableton Live. There's a lot of really cool things you can do here. Um, there's a lot you could do if you want to customize this script as well, but this is just sort of a starting point um, that we want everyone to have. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, have a good day.